What's good, everybody? It's the one and only the Punisher Night game. Come back to you again. Some more Call of Duty Vanguard. Salute to my new subscribers. Much out of y'all. Appreciate all the love and support. My new turning subscribers, my bad. Got facts on real quick. You already know what it is. And let's get into this. It does not matter that you boycott this game, that game, whatever. As long as motherfuckers are still buying bundles. They're still making money. There will always be a Nimrod that signs up and buys something. It does not matter. If you play the game, don't play the game. There will be more people signing up that do not watch YouTube, that do not engage in anything that has to do with social media. They will just see COD on TV being promoted and play it as long as they got them they don't really need us us old heads and card franchise we're pretty much done and dusted right at this point we're old news to them they're going off to the new bucks so please someone tell me this in the comment section why the, why in the hell is everybody going crazy over a nick Merckx bundle oh nick Merckx has been has this skin taken away out of the card store? What, motherfucker, why are you in the card store in the first place to even give a shit about what a multi-millionaire streamer, more than likely, no, mostly I don't even watch or even care about. I sure as fuck don't. I mean, I'm fucking got more money than I'll ever see in my life. And you think I give a fuck about what happens with him? Hell no. Nah. He signed the deal to get his likeness in to call of duty nigga when you go into bed with the devil you never know what to expect and all i got to say is what the fuck did you expect it's activision the same activision that's out here sexually harassing the women the same activision that is the sole owner of blizzard and wasn't blizzard the same motherfuckers that had the Cosby suite and whatever, whatever. What do you think Activision did? Nothing. We brushed the shit under the rug. And rest in peace to the woman that lost her life due to all the shit that went down with her and the nonsense that had followed that. What do you think Activision did? Swept the shit under the rug? Wasn't it Bobby Kotick, the same egomaniacal little fucking gnome that threatens a female in a voicemail? Sandy will have her murked. If she said anything? Come on now. How can you go into business with motherfuckers like that? And call yourself a man. And have pride in yourself. I don't give a fuck what you said. On Twitter. Saying, oh. Leave the children alone. Motherfucker. You should, like. You should have thought about that before. Signing the deal with Activision. Now. You just look stupid. Even more so. Because you thought. Oh, you having the skin was a big deal? Nah, bruh. I'm sorry, you lost. I lost all respect for you and the, the Tim the Tap Man dude. I don't care if you down with your homie, you want your skin. Nigga, you shouldn't have had the skin in the shit in the first place. That was the perfect time to have a, like this boycott. The boycott your skins being put in the game in the first place. That would have just stuck more in the crawl of Activision two big time streamers saying fuck you activision i'm not doing business with you you know that shit would have spurned the motherfuckers that would have made them just be shocked and panic and like oh my god we, we, we can't get these two people to sign with us now y'all want to turn your noses up at him because he said something and you, you got backlash because of it and they took your skin out of the game uh, I'm sorry, but I don't give two shits. And also this boycott shit. Oh, boycott back in prison. Yeah, I'm a fuck shit on boycotting. Oh, I don't know. Model Warfare 2019? When all that shit was going down? All the hackers and this and that? No minimap? No red dots? Dead silence? Still ain't working right? There's a plethora of different things that don't work right. In COD at this point, and yeah, I'm gonna get all up in arms now. 
four years later? Hey, seriously? Especially over something so meaningless as a fucking bundle? In the damn <laughs> Activision store? Oh my god, job motherfuckers are so wishy-washy. Like, the con community is a bunch of wishy-washy, brainwashed motherfuckers. I bet you. Give this shit about a month. Nobody's gonna be talking about this event. At all. Nobody's gonna care. Everybody's gonna move on. Because this boycott ain't gonna last. This boycott, as soon as the next COD comes out, nobody's gonna be talking about the McMurk skin or nothing else. They'll be hyping up the next game. They'll be, oh my god, the new COD is out, this and that, who's gonna play with me? Blah blah blah. And the cycle repeats itself. It's just like, y'all you know, motherfuckers, bro, I swear. Y'all can't stick to a game plan to save your motherfucking life. If a nigga had a gun to your mama's head telling you that he's gonna offer if you don't play or do what they say, what would you do? You gonna play and do what they say. Period. It could be just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. You gonna fall right into it. Because a lot of times, you motherfuckers are just gullible. Y'all go on Twitter. Y'all go on your little social medias. With your little Twitter fingers. And just be going off. At the, at the devs. When a lot of times, it's not even the devs fault. For a lot of shit that goes on. It's fucking the niggas that put them to work in the first place. Because I can guarantee you. Sledgehammer didn't want to make another fucking World War II game. They were forced to. Whether or not they chose to do this has little to no concern because ultimately Activision is the one that signs off on the shit. Like, the devs are not squeaky clean because these motherfuckers are Especially in Affinity Award standards, these motherfuckers are warped. Like, how the fuck you have 30 pride flags, but yet no national nationality flags until five or so months later, and then you put it in the game. Y'all must focus is pushing agendas out here. And yes, the statement itself, I agree with, but the person that said it, I can care less about. And yes, lead the children alone. Well, schools out here pushing agendas that should never be even a concern to a child. If they're not in sex ed, which is in high school, leave children out of whatever little fucked up weird ass mindset you got going on. What you do in the bedroom is up to you and the person that's consenting to it. Leave the children out of this shit. It especially shouldn't be pr promoted and pushed by a fucking gaming publisher and devs and all that other shit. That has no purpose or bearing on the fucking video game that has nothing to do with said subjects. So why is it there? And as far as bundles are concerned, I can give two shits about a bundle. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. I bought my share of bundles in the past, but I've stopped playing COD after a while. Like, in Modern Warfare 2? Modern Warfare 2? Oof. I had to jump ship. Before season three reloaded came out, because that shit is boring. One is boring. Two, SMM pissed me off to the point where I just can't even think straight. Another point I want to make before I run out of time is if you motherfuckers want to boycott something, boycott the who. You don't know who is. Uh, damn sure ain't talking about the ban. The World Health Organization for lying to motherfuckers about, you know. The jab, let's just say that. And another thing. We have on the boycott by zone. Hmm. I don't know. Look into why in 2025 gas operated vehicles are going to start to cease to exist. You want to boycott some shit? Let's boycott some real stuff. I'm not worried about the stupid shit Call of Duty is doing. Let's put our actions and words to something that's meaningful, please. And like, you know, turn off the TV. Turn off the radio. Listen to some shit that's actually gonna benefit you. 
your mind, your body, your spirit. Not this nonsense with the Activision got going on, because I have a feeling that a Warrior Empire was right. That this is a distraction for something else. I can't put my finger on it either, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Or it'll stumble upon me as I leave my, you know, my crown chakra open for it to happen. So, just, you know, FYI. Anybody coming at other creators for not standing up for this multi-millionaire while they're the same motherfucker that was talking ish about that same multi-millionaire back in the day and got kicked off the platform and now they're back as some goofy dude wearing a mask saying this and that saying half truths mostly lies and just being a goofy ass not even middle aged motherfucker damn near a senior citizen I'm like come on bro you coming at a man that does this for a job and gets paid a lot less than other two clowns that signed up with Activision in the first fucking place. You coming at him? Really? Come on now. Y'all niggas need to think and act differently because y'all defending motherfuckers that don't give a damn about you, don't know anything about you, don't care if you stand with them or not. Because they already made their millions. They already made the millions. Activision already paid them up more than enough to live off of for the rest of their life. Get your shit together. Anyways, this one on the punishment game. I had to make this video just pointing out the shit. And I know about you P3Os in that damn bundle. Come on now.